So, I mean, obviously, when the news was announced of your achievements, um, a lot of the public celebrated under the assumption that, you know, this was the end of HIV, or the end of AIDS. I mean, how far from the truth do you think this is? And do you think that perhaps this, will, this shows that we're that much closer to an, a cure for HIV in the future? Or not? I, I think we are getting closer to an HIV cure. Uh, whether or not this approach will be applicable to established infection is in, in well, I seriously doubt it. Um, because if you listen to our hypothesis, we're talking about infection that uh, occurred in treatment very early before the, the formation of the long-term reservoirs. So if our hypothesis is true, that would not be the case in most uh, adults or older children who are infected. When they become infected with the virus, they already have T memory cells there, and probably those T memory cells become infected fairly quickly. Um, we don't know what the window is. We don't know for babies what the window is. We don't know um, if we have maybe two weeks or maybe a month or maybe longer with infected babies, um, and we don't know if it's applicable directly to adult um, disease. The adu in the adult world, <laughs> they are approaching cure from a lot of different angles at this point, <coughs> and um, hopefully there will be breaks, breakthroughs that are developing um, rapidly and certainly within your lifetime, if not within mine, um, a cure will be developed for everyone who's infected. 